this is what I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about clothing, about playing dress up, about vintage and costumes. And so, you know, I basically was able to turn my passion into a business, which is great. Going to work every day, doing what you're passionate about feels very good. <laughs> if you fail, and we will fail, and maybe what I just said, maybe eight out of 10 people fail, but two of them will be right now. So two of them will be submittables. And, and that's so, you know, I have 12 employees. And I was an unemployed novelist five years ago. Anywhere else in the world, you get a fishing tip, you better ignore it or do the exact opposite. Because there's just this, there's this paradigm of scarcity uh, that people operate by. And Missoula is just the polar opposite of that. There, the, the, anyone will give you their best fishing tip for their best fishing hole. And the entrepreneurship environment is the same. You don't have that same thought of scarcity. It's kind of like we're all in this together. Over the years, I've acquired a, 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 some skill sets that are val very valuable to younger folks that, that I had to figure out on my own. It took a lot longer figuring out on my own that I can say, hey, look at this. Here's some tools to add to your toolkit while you're trying to start your business. I'm Christine Liddig and my business is Bernice's Bakery. And it's awesome when you're exploring and trying to develop yourself when you find your passion and realize you're good at it and then can go forth and try and create a life out of it. My name is Tom Snyder and I'm the owner of Five on Black Brazilian Grill in Missoula, Montana. The whole idea of the business was to create something as simple, straightforward, and efficient as possible. You know, combine that with fresh, healthy, convenient, you know, inexpensive food, and you have a model that works for a customer and it works from a business standpoint. I had an idea that I wanted to share my serendipitous experiences that I had had overseas. I wanted to find a way to share that with other people, and I wanted to find a way to make a living. <laughs> so that's where it started. So I'm a big believer that in when you that business, you need to be passionate about it. Um, I know that you can certainly start businesses and not be passionate about it, but on an entrepreneurial level, uh, I think that that level of startup, um, that level of this is my first one, um, I haven't actually had the home run yet. I think that at that level, I think it's pretty important that you feel really passionate about what you do. If we can build more of these stories of what UM is as an entrepreneurial university and the entrepreneurial skills that it develops in those students as I've talked about not just to be entrepreneurs but to be entrepreneurial in the organizations and the activities that they pursue. Uh, if we can highlight the successes and the value that we create in students by doing that, this is going to be a university that people really aspire to come to.